morning everybody how we doing We've just arrived I've uh, okay crashed a lotus party um, Eddie very nicely accepted said I could jump on with their their lot and we've got like loads of Astins the rain has just started coming down which is a bit of a shame um, what I might do actually is just close my boot because if this rain comes I don't want to get a wet car how cool is this look old control tower with a little Bremont clock on it from London the runway is actually over here it runs all the way down there and then we've got some you know kind of old school hangers I'm just off to uh, get myself a coffee and a baker's sandwich and then I'm gonna do a walk around and we'll find some rare stuff but so far so good stuff in here and not the building's not too bad either Crazy as this building. <coughs> Beautiful old Jag. Old Mercedes. Love these kind of Porsches. If I ever get one, that's the one. Look at the interior. Jacket, this must be yours. <laughs> Is it really? Beautiful, it's absolutely beautiful.
So this is an Austin. Something very famous about this this car. It was the uh, the first attempt at run flat tires. It never broke down because when you uh, when you had a flat tire, Allegro, ear all weak. It's tough. No God! No God! Please no! Did it. Did it. <laughs> you like that? <laughs> Mind your back. Never buy an electric car, can hear it coming. <laughs> Thank you.
Hello, bud.
is this Ferrari down? pressure rig hooked up. You know, the uh, the time I came back from um, Brands Hatch with Dad, um, we were losing oil pressure. So that one down there. Every time I gunned it, the oil pressure was dropping and I started to get a bit worried, obviously, uh, because of the engine. But it's a gauge or an electronical issue, like a sensor or a cable because when I gun it, although the gauge zeroes out, that, which is actually physical, you know, it's on the top of the head, so it's, you know, good oil pressure, um, it doesn't move. So kind of crisis averted, but now I need to chase down what the, uh, what the issue is with the old cluster. But uh, yeah, a good video, a good day is coming, or yeah, by this point, you'll probably already see the video. Um, but yeah, amazing place, really, really cool. Every every kind of conceivable car there. It's a bit of a you know a bit of a automotive mecca. Loads of stuff going on um, from you know everything in the car park from F40s to um, Atoms to Catrums to Lotus to Porsche Ferrari everyone was there it was great it was a it was a turnout of everything which was really nice and I say on the way home I've got I've got my little racing buddy there I got a Ferrari chasing me um, Lotus is not doing too bad obviously he's an old boy and that thing's brand new <laughs> but yeah we're having a we're having a bit of a play there's a there's an old Porsche as well that's kind of tagging along a 911. He's obviously got like you know a tenth of the power that we have, but he's 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 giving it what for. We're having a good little play. Uh, but interesting to see what the Lotus does against that Ferrari because I'm sure that's probably I'll find out what that is later on on the registration. Uh, I'll do a search on it, but I'm sure it's probably six or seven hundred horsepower at least. Um, but the Lotus, you know, it doesn't doesn't. It's not like he gaps me like I disappear in his rearview mirror. It's a slow, it's a slow process, but um, you know, Lu Lucifer's not exactly slow. But against something modern like that, then yeah, there is a bit of a difference. Uh, but yeah, so I'm gonna obviously chop this video up. We will talk more this week um, when I'm back in. Snap-on should be visiting. We're gonna get the box sorted. Um, but for now, have a good weekend, guys, and I will talk to you soon. All the best.